July 30th, 1944, Sunday. Dear folks, no doubt about it, I always surprise people by writing once in a while. First, my thanks for your gift. It really came in handy. For my other wallet, looks like I went through a beached landing. Congratulations, Chief. I'm very glad for you and proud that you are my wife's father, which of course makes me a son. I'm wishing for a, okay, so I'm not sure what this letter is. P-O-I, P-O-E, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm wishing for a P-O-I in New York, if we have to go across. I know I can go overseas and not have to worry about my Audrey, but I will for she is very well taken care of. And my thanks go to you too for it. It helps quite a lot to know that all is well at home and keeps a guy on an even keel. I must have my wits about me if I were to ever get into combat. <clears throat> As we are taught, keep thinking at all time and you will come back. That's me. I'm coming back in the same condition as I will leave. As long as Audrey doesn't worry about me. She will be good, and I'm sure the baby will take care of Audrey's worries. For myself, I'll always think of her and our baby, and by doing that, I'll make myself take good care of me. <laughs> well, I'll take off for now and get my fatigues and equipment ready for tomorrow, for it will be a very busy day. Your son, Lee. P.S. P.O.I. I don't know. New York might possibly mean a day or two at home, I pray. P.S.S. <clears throat> How can I be so dumb and forgetful? Thank you, Nana, for your gift. I bought more socks, handkerchief, and other stuff I needed. Love, Lee.